Thank you, Z. So I can't tell you how incredible it is to be here today at the second TEDx USC event. Uh, it was just a year ago that TED launched this little experiment called TEDx, where X equals independently organized events. And it basically gives anybody anywhere in the world the opportunity to host a TED-like event. Now, as Z said, this idea has been brewing for some time at TED. Um, the idea came from a number of different places. Firstly, about four years ago, we put TED Talks online for free, and up until then, um, the TED conference had been an exclusive conference that a few people went to. And about 230 million people have seen TED Talks to date, which has transformed the TED brand. And more and more people are coming up to us and asking us if we could hold an official TED conference in their city or country. And that idea is very hard to scale. And finally, as we thought through it, we really feel that the TED Talks are sometimes better to view in a group where you can have a discussion around them rather than in a solitary way in front of your computer. So it was the conversion of these ideas out of which the TEDx concept arose. So a year ago, there'd been one TEDx event, and that was TEDx USC. And... Okay. <clears throat> So what I want to do for you now is just paint a brief picture of what has transpired over the last year um, since the first TEDx event at USC happened. Basically, we've had 500 TEDx events. We have 500 more planned for this year. TEDx events have been held in 70 countries in 37 different languages. We've had TEDx events on 100 different campuses with 100 more planned for the rest of this year. And approximately about 50,000 people have attended TEDx events. And these TEDx events don't all look like this. They've taken on very different sizes and shapes and formats. We've had everything from an incredible event that happened in a, one of the largest shanty towns in the world where the organizer put a sheet on the wall, projected some TED Talks and invited some speakers, to a TEDx Kids event at SMU where 300 kids from schools throughout the Dallas-Fort Worth area attended, to an incredible event that happened in Dubai that was like a day at TED, to a little event that happened in a village in southern India where the organizer had to go through this amazing, amazing personal journey and fight with the elders of a village to allow them to hold the TEDx event because they re felt really threatened about a conference that was about ideas. So we're on this amazing journey together, and we at TED believe it'll be transformative, and it's thanks to you, USC, and Christina and her team that have made this possible. And in closing, I just want to say we, you know, a lot of people come up to me and they say, well, we've had this amazing experience, we've shared some good ideas, we've been inspired, it's been, you know, incredible, what can we do now? And so I challenge all of you to go off into your communities, into underprivileged neighborhoods, to schools, to libraries, and hold a little TEDx event, show some TED talks, have a discussion around them, and help us spread ideas worth spreading. And so I just wanted to end one last time by saying thank you to USC for having the trust and jumping on board this journey before the journey had even begun. Thank you.